I apologize. I am so sorry. I am not going to be able to let you do what you thought you were going to do. You know, I've been watching ever increasing levels of both liquidations, I believe, in order to provide what is supposed to be available for pension payments that are coming up. But I've also been watching insurance, including insurance that is supposed to be provided at ever increasing levels. I watch congressional insurance. I watch senatorial insurance. I watch political risk insurance for presidential candidates. And now my understanding is there is a more than $1 billion bond for government stock, or rather commodities eligible for government stock that they intend to use for spy insurance, right? The CIA. And unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Why? Because it's not securitization, right? It's a catastrophe bond. I know. They did this. I said I wasn't interested. The World Bank did some catastrophe bonds. There were supposed to be some repayments, or rather they were supposed to be some obligations that ended up getting mooted out last year. Nobody seemed to pay attention that that call came and it wasn't answered, right? And now we are where we are. And something happened on the 22nd. Somehow, for some reason, it was judged that a video I posted had medical misinformation. I contend that I was in an executive function and that I was referencing information that was available in an executive order concerning population and rather population growth. But I digress. Somebody wanted to say it was medical misinformation, and I think what they wanted to say was, you've been judged to have a chemical imbalance, and we're going to need to put you on medication, and we're going to treat you for your illness, and then we're going to put you through some programming so that you can stabilize, right? And that was my third chance. That was my third chance to give them up to seven days on another account, wasn't supposed to have any paperwork, and somebody else was supposed to get credit, or rather was supposed to be able to secure their deal for what is a derivative of the legal marijuana economy that they were going to use in connection with the underwriting on their intelligence insurance, right? My concern, however, is that what they're really trying to do is flip Iran-Contra and that really what they've done is set the material conditions for something like Iran-Contra, except they're going to try to probably this. I've been keeping track of my time, all of the videos I did last year. They have a time associated with them that is actually quantifiable value. And there's a particular methodology. I've made more than one video about that more than one acknowledgement. But my concern is that what happened is all of this from before, all of the benchmarks, all of the work, all of that time, well, they want to claim it. They want to claim it ex post facto and say that it's theirs, that somehow this is something that there was some justification for saying there's a lien on me or that I owe something. And well, they're going to claim it. All of these time packets are supposed to go to them. And then whatever just happened in the last seven days, why even bother keeping track? I'm not qualified to keep track of my own time labor. That was the implication. The medical misinformation is that I have the competence to make informed decisions about my own life and whether or not I even want treatment for a medical ailment that has been intentionally misrepresented, right? You know, one of the things that happened is I found this book that had cases in it, legal cases concerning contracts and a discussion specifically about withholding of information prior to the consummation of the contract is different if somebody does not ask materially relevant questions before committing to the contract 
you can say, well, we didn't have to disclose, or that was implied. But if somebody asks you explicitly, have you heard of this? Are you aware of this? Is this who you are actually registered as? Are you doing this? And you lie. And that's a different situation. No, not so ironically. I only kept track. I only accounted for my time labor. One of those seven days. And I did it with what I had at the time. There was a very important reason why on June 23rd of 2021, I accounted for my time labor. My understanding is the first day they wanted certain metrics and I already knew that somebody had deleted my videos for the second day, which was the 24th. What were they calibrating? Well, what they did is they gave me 11 seconds short of 82 and I knew they wanted 82 and somehow they wanted to get that extra 11 on a zero out. They didn't want it to be accounted for, right? See, for me, the day I got would register as zero. But somehow on that day, there would be a secret hidden 11 seconds that would then be able to fulfill the 82 on the first day. And they were going to swap the days. So whatever... I ended up doing that actually met the standard or met the benchmark would be swapped out while well, I got the zero but I didn't get a zero because of last year and what do we have from last year beginning at 6 28 a.m. Central Standard Time on June 23rd 2020 <coughs> see the process had started on the 22nd what is this there was a conference for Citigroup Asia. There was a major conference concerning private equity from and by Citigroup last year in Asia. And my contention was that it was going to take how long? 10 days? So the transactions they've hooked up the weekend before, which by the way, correlated with the expiration on temporary life insurance policies issued in Singapore. And those life insurance policies had their last day right before a report on major, major overnight activity on the Asian market concerning futures. Huge posting in the United States, influx of futures from the Asian market the day after the expiration of those temporary life insurance policies, which, by the way, were in an area that had majoritarily experienced COVID-19 diagnoses amongst people that were in college and were of college age. Well, then right after that big time activity on the futures market, there is this conference by Citigroup in Asia. I was up early in the morning anyway. I figured I'd do some tracking. You know, I made a video about that. One of the videos they said had medical misinformation in it was actually a video that was connected to a treasury issue that ended up getting flipped from that conference. That was connected to a lot, a lot of activity that intersected between the American and the Asian markets. Here's the problem. I know you might want all seven days and whatever you did with that and whatever you thought it was worth and for whom you thought it was worth, but I had a pre-existing condition. I had an advanced claim, right? And this is not medical misinformation, right? I mean, are you going to say that those futures contracts that were created on those expired temporary life insurance policies that were taken out for people in the event that they may contract COVID-19 and they may die or they may not die? Are you saying there's medical misinformation connected to the actual insurance policy itself insofar as COVID-19 was identified as a specific kind of medical malady? Are you saying it's something else? 
So are you saying that those temporary life insurance policies were mischaracterized? And so when they expired and then they were put on the market as futures agreements that ended up being sold overnight in a very substantial volume to be purchased by the American financial sector while Citigroup was setting up for its conference in Asia? Are you saying that there was information in there that was not medically accurate? And were you asking me to consult? I think that's what you were doing. The problem is we hadn't talked about this in advance. And I didn't get a written agreement from you considering terms. And I certainly didn't get any agreement to not disclose or to keep any information confidential. And I certainly didn't get any for notice that you would have expected me to perform at a certain standard for a specific audience with specific conditions, or you were just going to erase it. See, I kept the paperwork, right? And I know we've had a history of me keeping paperwork and then somehow me being separated from the paperwork and having to wait how long before it's no longer what it was before, but ends up as somebody's future. Except not anymore, right? I want to thank you so much for communicating clearly this time. And now that we have gotten all of the misunderstandings out of the way, I think we can uh, find a more appropriate context for continued communication and to assure that we maintain consistency in both intent and production. Thank you so much.